because I don't need to make the money from selling those types of shit. I make money growing my company. <laughs> Why not package up a very simple sales course that you can find in any $10 book at your local bookstore and start selling it out to your millions of followers? Once you start Damn. seeing how much money this guy can make, that's, I think, when he changed his mind. Welcome back, man, King HD. And today I have another reaction for you. So today we will be reacting to actually a pretty cool video, so finance video, trying everything. The name of it is Authentic A Sheraton Dan Lock, Exposing Internet Marketers. So Dan Lock is a big financial YouTuber that uh you know poses himself as this huge sales professional, whatever. He makes a lot of money, so Apparently this video is exposing him for being a fake. Say, so, man, let's check it out, man. This authentic or charlatan series focuses on popular YouTube influencers. Who is Dan Locke? He is a failing serial entrepreneur of 13 businesses. Then he came across sales copy letters and wanted to learn copywriting. After a few years of copywriting and internet marketing, Dan became a millionaire and then a multi-millionaire. Now he has a large social media presence while proclaiming himself to be a business consultant and be the best High ticket sales consultant. <laughs> Hold on. Question. Why is this guy always in the backseat of a two door Bentley? Like it's a four door Rolls Royce? He's created a persona centered around being the boss in the Bentley. Fancy cars, fancy suits, fancy living, private jets, you know, just the typical internet marketer. It's all an image to get you to buy into his BS. He's an internet marketer that gives vague business advice to get you to buy into a sales funnel so that he can sell you on his insanely overpriced internet marketing products. You literally can buy, you can find a Bentley Continental of that body style like around 2010, 20, 2008 for less than $100,000. Probably like 80, 60. So I think it's funny that these gurus come out in these cars half of the time and they're not theirs and they're in it. But the other time times they're cheap and they think people who don't know about cars think they're expensive. I'm a car guy. You can get that Bentley for less than a hundred grand. Now that's still a lot, but not for a multimillionaire. You know what I'm saying? After I was making about ten thousand a month as a cop as a young guy, twenty one. Mm -hmm. So 22. at your at your peak, your copy services are ten thousand. Ten thousand dollars, and I was working one client, couple clients per month. After watching hours of Dan Lok content, researching for this video, this was actually the first video I came across where there was any mention of being a successful copywriter. Well, let's assume it's all true. Then I think it's fair to assume that he did make pretty good money as a copywriter. That's not out of the realm of possibility. Based on what he explained, he met the mentor at a seminar, started working for him and learning the trade of copywriting and then began making 10K a month as a copywriter. Is this true? It might be. I think we can assume that it is. I think it's possible. Then he explains that he started his own copywriting company, and that's when he began making a lot more money. It seems like he got all of his first clients working for his mentor, Alan Jacques. Then he starts his own company and then immediately sees hyper success. That's a little bit of a red flag for me because he was working under this mentor and making pretty good money. Then all of a sudden he was able to start up his own company and using the same clients, using new clients, I have no idea. Then he saw this hyper success. Is that true? It's possible. I'm not believing it based on the level of su success he's claiming. In a clip I'll play later, he said he accumulated 150K in debt. So in order to pay off his debt and become a liquid cash millionaire like he claims to be, mm. in just a few years is extremely difficult. Especially in a business like copywriting where these clients of his aren't exactly creating a new product every single month. If you go out and land someone that's willing to pay you 10K, for a sales letter copy, then you know obviously that's landing a big client, but you would need to do multiple of these clients every single month for multiple years on end to pay off this 150K in debt and become a multimillionaire. By going through his YouTube collection, I can see that by around this time is when he started to try and establish himself as a business guru. I think he was able to see how- <laughs> Business guru, was it 2015? Came out of nowhere with the Ty Lopez here in my garage. Then all of a sudden, all these guys come out of nowhere as gurus and real estate and Shopify and Amazon FBA and affiliate marketing and everywhere. How much money can be made on YouTube and selling courses through seminars at this time and saw that it was much more money, money than he could make, make as a copywriter. A big issue I have with this video is that it's titled, What I Learned Losing $2 Million, Three Best Lessons. But at no point in this video did he discuss anything about losing $2 million. <laughs> Like most of these videos that you'll come across, it's all clickbait and mostly clickbait. vague. And one of the biggest issues I have is 
he now claims to have lost millions of dollars, but then also became a multimillionaire. So we're talking about in order to become successful on the level that he's claiming in just a few years as a copywriter, he need to lose a few million dollars and then also make a few. It's just starting to seem a little sketch to me. He's branding and positioning himself as this business guru and business expert, even though there's very little indication that he's actually ran a successful business at all. If we take him at his word, at this point, he's only been a successful copywriter. But as I've dug deeper, I'm not entirely believing that as well. And at the end of the day, he's just like every other social media charlatan. He focuses on some large net worth or income to build up a brand. He does it through social media and by building up a following, because a lot of people like following success, of course, mm -hmm. is that he's able to build up this following so that people can see that he's successful, even if, if it's just a characterized version of himself. Isn't that funny? Social media, man. And I'm 28, so this isn't my generation. Social media, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. What people don't get is, or what people don't think about, we can show you what we want you to see. I can come on YouTube and say I'm a, you know, you, a, a, you know, ex NFL player, or I can say I'm, you know, I own, you know, I'm a real estate person, which maybe maybe not. And so it's, it's, if you noticed, he had all the he showed you the expensive watch and private jet he's in the bentley with the nice you know expensive shoes on that makes people think oh yeah he made a lot of money you know obviously he he clearly is successful right and what you don't what you don't know is he show you what he wants you to see the same way youtubers do the same way people on instagram do they show you what they want you to see everybody on instagram is not on vacation everybody on instagram is not rich every youtuber tuber does not have a lamborghini half of them are in it but people fall into this just because, you know, people have hope to be successful. And like you said, they like following successful people. And there's nothing wrong with that. You just got to, you know, find a needle in the haystack of who who's actually legit. And that's the hard part. And then at the end, when you have this following built up, then you can create some high-end course to sell all to these blind followers. And then that's where you make your real money. And essentially what happens yep. with these that's people crazy. is that they will build up this image of themselves. They build up, imagine like a characterized version of themselves, the super yep. financially successful person. And as make they sell rich. all these courses and seminars, they become the financially successful person. And they basically yep. morph into that characterized version of themselves. Yeah, because they, they, they fake it till they make it. They start out being pop out of nowhere as this rich, you know, expert in a specific financial niche and, you know, show the nice cars and the watches and the money and the trips and stuff like that. Excuse me. Half of the masters and cars are in it <laughs> and people believe it. So they pretty much fake it till they make it. They pray out for people's hope and ambitions to be in these financial industries and make good money and people actually make them rich and turn them into this person like he said this character who they was pretending to be so i was interested man and trust me he's not the only one and not saying it's true or not i don't know i'm just watching this video but he's trust me it's a lot on this that's fake you know buy my course only for 1500 bucks yeah okay when it's the when it's the same stuff that's on google literally that i can find on google in 30 seconds okay, yeah, okay. hundred two thousand a month with local clients, how much do you want to be charging? Oh, that's, you know, I, I never actually thought of that before. Uh, maybe, you know, if I could get my retainer up to $2,500 a month, that would really help my profit margins for sure. Okay, and what's your cost of delivering your service? Uh, it's usually, you know, both 300 <laughs> uh, Okay, how many clients do you want to be working with? Well, the goal is, you know, I think the first milestone I need to get to is 50. Notice how edited this video is, which makes it blatantly obvious how staged it is. This video has more jump cuts in it than he has followers. The audio was added in, and he was jump cutting. Trust me, I edit my videos. The audio was added in, and the jump cuts was to match to audio. You know what I'm saying? So they jump cut him. They jump cut him standing there to match the next audio uh, of the of the guy responding. So. Yeah. The conversation is set up perfectly to help Dan send out signals that he's this high value sales closer. It couldn't be any more it's smart. Also has no sales calling experience, but now he's running a business around selling high ticket clients. 
To my knowledge, he only has success as a copywriter, which obviously is sales, but selling over the phone and cold calling situations is probably a lot different than being a copywriter. To me, it's still two different skill sets. When I watch these videos, I can't help but notice that it's very obvious that basically what Dan did is he read a lot of sales books, he came across Grant Cardone <laughs> on YouTube, on social media, saw him killing it, and figured out that he could do the same because all of his videos are just generic sales advice that you'd find in $10 books at your local bookstore. Yep. So for Jesus, did a little hours, research. I charged 10K, how do you feel about that? Listen to a sales pitch, 10K for a two hour sales call. That's insane. Oof. If you have Oof. any sales call and experience at all, you can tell that this is scripted right when you listen to it. It is, does not sound anything at all like anything that goes on in 10K. the real world. And here's basically what his high ticket closer program really is. Dan building up this YouTube channel based on deceit and then selling his followers on a very expensive program centered around sales. He's living his mm. high ticket closing brand now but sadly, yeah. the only people buying in any interaction are his blind followers. To his credit, Dan Locke <laughs> is a savvy marketer who has built up this character yeah. as the sales closer, expert, and good savvy job. businessman who runs all these successful businesses. But the only tangible success that I've seen that he's built up has been his social job. media following. But just like most charlatans on social make media, they're make only it. successful because their brand is predicated on some character that they built and the character itself becomes famous first. You ever notice how Dan only talks and about how work. many successful businesses he runs, but he never shares any details about them. You never see any offices. You never see any employees. Take a minute Paperwork. to watch Gary V videos, Gary Vaynerchuk, and see how transparent Gary V is. He's always in his office. He's got all these employees. He's got so much content out there showing how much of a real businessman he is. And compare that to Dan Locke, and you'll see how easy it is to see how fake Dan Locke is. We're on Dan Locke's LinkedIn. Let's do a quick yeah. look and see how successful Mr. Locke was. Let's scroll down to his history. And we start with TEDx talk in 2016. In 2015, he had a mentor mentor show. But again, this is all after he claims to have been a millionaire and super successful. Then we see a few different businesses or different jobs, I guess, that he started himself. He's the founder of Dan On Demand, a mentorship program. He's got this YouTube. Closers in black, but I want you to notice the dates. 2019, 2018, 2018, the host of Dan Locke Show. He was this YouTube celebrity. Notice how everything is so self-proclaimed. Even here in 2009, this is the <laughs> earliest date we've seen. He was a real estate investor, even though he's mentioned nothing about real estate in any of his videos. But just look at all this. Entertainer, TV host, YouTube celebrity. Um, and then if you look at the dates of these, we've got Dan oh, he's Locke. Uh, and Canada. I want you to really notice where in here is the success outside of YouTube. Fake it till you make it, bro. It works. Multi-millionaire copywriting success. I don't see any mention of that at all. And then the crazy thing is how easy it is to build up uh, a following, like you said, a character, character, caricature, with social media, because people believe almost anything that they see. You know, I don't think about, you know, the editing on YouTube. You know what the people with the Instagram influencers don't show you what the business experts don't show you so it's crazy you know social media it, it can be good obviously you can make a lot of money from YouTube and all type of stuff and even real businesses get on you know social media platforms especially like YouTube and make money and spread real knowledge but it's crazy how, how you can create a character and actually become that character due to deceiving people that's, that's very interesting because he's not the only one trust me there's plenty of them out there and all of these, Half of these fake courses, these courses are fake. Copywriters.com. You know, if he's claiming to run all these successful businesses, uh, maybe they're successful. I haven't seen any indication that they actually are. But just a quick look on his LinkedIn is really mm -hmm. raising red flags to me. Who doesn't love a rags to riches story? Every time I see anything Everybody about Dan Locke, it's self-proclaimed multimillionaire with no reason to believe he had a multi-million dollar net worth before social media started. In this rags to riches story, he never touches on how he became successful. He consistently brings up how he started 13 businesses and failed at all of them. Then he became a multimillionaire all of a sudden. He talked about how he went into crazy credit card debt and ran out of friends to ask for money. And this is where I think <laughs> some of my insight into Don't be mean, came man. Out. Basically, when you come mean. into a lot of debt, when you run up the credit cards like People he says want, he did, you're going to be willing to do whatever it takes to get out of that debt. He even said that he ran out of friends to ask for money. And I think... Once he started seeing the money he could make by selling courses and seminars and blowing up on the YouTube by creating this character of himself, 
He figured he could make a lot of money, which is generally what you want to do when you're in a lot of debt. And another thing is he mentions that he had a really important mentor when he was running his lawnmower business, but in his interview with Omar in the Rags to Riches interview, he says that his first mentor came years later at the <laughs> seminar, his copywriter friend, Alan Jacques, that I mentioned previously. To me, this is a little bit of a red flag. I mean, of course, with all the content he has online, there's probably going to be some type of consistency issues, but the fact that he is starting to sound a lot like Ty Lopez and Robert <laughs> Kiyosaki raises major red flags to me. Go ahead. Sell me this pen. Everything about Dear Marketing <laughs> videos is just vague, simple, generic business advice. And on Hold on, I'm sorry. I want to read what, it, what he said, how to sell me anything to anyone in time. I do remember seeing it. More imitation of an actual sales guru, Jordan Belfort, a.k.a. Wolf on Wall Street. Yeah, um, a lot of times when you watch these financial videos from these gurus, they're not saying anything. They're saying a whole lot without saying a whole bunch of nothing. Nothing. They're, they're not saying nothing. Like like you said, it's vague. They're not giving you any details. All they do is get you hyped up to make you, you know, work on them endorphins to make you feel like, oh, yeah, I'm going <clears throat> to go do something. I'm about to go make a sale. I'm going to go do this, do that. And then you realize, oh, wait. He didn't really tell me how to start the business, but you can buy my course. <laughs> On all of the videos, it sounds like he read a book or two and then makes a video about the concepts covered within the book. Nothing about his teaching comes from experience, in my opinion. I've now watched a few hours of his videos just to prepare for this video, and at no point have I felt like he runs an actual business outside of his social media funnel. And I know nothing about Dan outside of these videos, which is telling to me. A lack of transparency is usually a major red flag. Content creator, I don't teach, I don't charge my stuff. You guys know, all my stuff is free online. Here's Dan just a few years before realizing how much his blind sheep followers will pay for his courses. Because you don't have a particular program, right? I don't. Maybe in the future you will, I but... I will never have a program. No? No, I'll give all my stuff away. No, why do this? I have one. Actually, I'm going to take one of my, some of my <laughs> programs from the past. I'm going to upload to YouTube that I charge thousands of dollars for. I just upload to YouTube. It's all free. That's why I'm trying to do that. Because I don't need to make the money from selling those types of stuff. I make money throwing my company. <laughs> why not package up a very simple sales course that you can find in any $10 book at your local bookstore and start selling it out to your millions of followers? Once you start Damn. seeing how much money this guy can make, that's, I think, when he changed his mind. Times your finances, 10 times your business, 10 times your marketing, 10 times your life. 10x. 10x your marriage, 10x the kids, mm, 10x your time off. I want to leave you with this. His high ticket what? closer program is seven weeks long and costs $2,500. For seven weeks, oh. you apparently learn all about how to sell high ticket clients on your services. The problem I have is that the people signing up for these courses aren't running businesses before signing up. They get sold that the course will help them learn how to have the easiest path to six-figure incomes by selling some magical high-ticket clients. So you learn some generic sales advice in the course, but when the course finishes, what exactly are you selling without any product or service yourself? Time to give Dan Lock. <laughs> he didn't really learn anything. He just made you feel like you do, you was doing something, but didn't actually actually give you anything of value to actually go and do something with maybe a little bit but not really that's how most of the courses are they're not really telling you anything that's why i won't buy any the score we have five criteria on a scale of one to ten if the subject check it out i go i go pull up the information my own self charlatan above a 25 then they qualify as being authentic and trustworthy first we have authenticity which is the truth behind what you share I give him a three out of like ten, three percent. It's kind of loud, though. Inconsistencies in his speeches, multiple instances of straight up plagiarizing other internet marketers, multiple occasions of needing to really investigate if what he was saying was true, and the LinkedIn profile raised way too many red flags. Transparency: how much you share. I'm going to give him a two out of ten, twenty percent. If you go through his catalog of videos, way too high of a percentage of his videos is really vague. It took way too long to figure out his story. And not knowing anything about any of all of these businesses that he apparently runs keeps this score really low. Next is replaceability. This is your ability to replace the guru's info. I give him actually a 1 out of 10. 
10%. None of his advice comes from experience, and you can easily find all of his sales advice in two to three of the most popular sales books. Grant Cardone and Jordan Belfort wipe this guy clean with their sales advice, and they <laughs> offer basically everything you need to know for free or for a significantly lower price than high ticket closer. Next is belief in success. Am I a believer in this guru? I give him a three out of 10 for 30%. I think he had some marginal success as a copywriter, even though it was hard to justify my decision. It's very clear that his real financial success came from social media and funneling his following into his high ticket closer course, which is how he really became rich. Last, we have yeah. deception. How much are you negatively affecting your following? I give him a five out of 10, 50%. I have a feeling a lot of people get value from Locke, even if their efforts are misguided. They yeah, spend way too much money on his courses and are receiving advice from a charlatan. I can't deny that he has a huge following and I'm sure some segment of the sheep herd are improving their life with his mentality and the character that he's created. Dan Locke's total score is an 11 out of 50, easily Oof. making him a charlatan. To anyone watching Horrible. this, please stay away from this clown. <laughs> man, look, man. I don't know, man. That's, that's crazy. Like, I don't know if Dan Locke is real or not. I mean, I, if his information is true, if he's telling the truth, I, I don't know. But you got to be careful because there's a lot of internet gurus and stuff like that. So courses and stuff and it's nothing new this stuff that's been going on for years so all i would say is be careful that's an interesting video um uh, i don't know so if you have any more videos for me to watch comment below like and subscribe to the video please so uh, without further ado man king mhd we out hi make sure you subscribe to this channel and i'll give you my phone number make sure you turn on your notification bell bye mm -hmm. all right i'll take that